Hi. Hello, Andrea. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> you should be able to turn your video on now. Okay. Uh, it says because your host is disabled. I'll wait a second. I had my video. That must shut off your video when I shut off my video. We're live on Facebook, everyone. So uh, welcome to the webinar. My name is Dr. Kurt Fisnick, and uh, we're going to get this thing started in just a couple of minutes here. Yeah, we're a little early. A little bit early, a couple minutes. Yeah, it keeps telling me your video um, host has dis disabled it. Hey, hey, there I am. Am I on the call? Oh, there you are. Hey, sorry about that. My uh, computer shut off. I, lost you. I think I, I think I, uh, I hit the on off button. <laughs> ah, let me put this in my stand. Here. Oh, all right. We're still live on Facebook. Um, I have some real bad lighting in here. Uh, how do I turn that light on it? Can you turn so that your um, face is toward the window instead of your back? What's that? Change position so your face is toward the windows. Hey, is that so better? That I'll turn this way toward the kitchen. Maybe that's better. There you go. And then I'll get in front of the camera. That's a good idea. <laughs> instead of that side of it. Always something in there. Hey, I like that tattoo thing you posted. Huh? I like that tattoo you posted. Yeah. Only you get it on your leg. And then you'd have to run around in Speedos. Turn What's that? Off. I said you need it on your leg, and then you'd have to run around in Speedos so everybody could there see. There you that. go. <laughs> I don't know if you'll see me running around in Speedos ever in my life or your life. <laughs> That would be, that would be, a, what's, what's that saying? That would be a sight for sore eyes. Right? Just turn that kitchen light off. You know, that's what I think I'll do because it's yeah. distracting. There you go. There you go. You have natural daylight. Is that better? Yeah, it's great. You know, hey everyone, uh, my name is Dr. Kurt Fisnick. This is my co-host, uh, Andrea. And uh, we're, uh, we're hosting a uh, doctor's clinic webinar this morning again. Yes, we are. And for those of you that are watching us on Facebook, you know, give us the old thumbs up or a smiley face and you let us know you're there. So, you bad. How are things up in, up in uh, Michigan? We have a cool drizzly day up here it's quickly turning to autumn 
Yeah, I drove up here to uh, Washington to Spokane. And as I drove out here, man, I'll tell you what, it was raining and it was cold almost the whole way. Yeah. And look at the cool cup that my son always makes me drink out of. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's where I drink my coffee in the morning. So, Andrea, I thought today we would talk a little bit about sizzling. What do you think of that? Sizzling is a cool product. It is. It is. Have you ever tasted a uh, better tasting uh, uh, protein shake? Well, of course, I'm a chocoholic, so I've only bought the chocolate. But, I, yeah, it was good. Yeah. You know, when I first uh, got started with sizzle, we only had vanilla. Yeah. Then you have to add stuff like chocolate. Yeah. Tom, <laughs> Tom's theory was he said, I'm not going to come out with a chocolate until I can um, come out with one that really tastes good. Right. Yeah. So many of them on the market just don't have the right flavor. They don't, they, they don't, they don't taste really chocolatey. This one, some people actually uh, say it's too much chocolate taste to it. You know what I do with it? A half a scoop of the chocolate in my um, toxin-free soup of coffee. Yeah. It's simply yummy. Okay, so you uh, you mix it in with your with your coffee. I and do. Kind of have a mocha. That's right. A mocha. Yeah, my dad has to have a mocha every day. I don't. That's okay. Well, we still love you. <laughs> <laughs> I just have my coffee, black. So Yesterday, I bought some coffee like and gas. Really, it's not really like black, you know? It's like Sizzle's coffee is so smooth. Like, I've never drank, been a coffee drinker my entire life. Really? So, no. For a couple of years, I drank some other kind of coffee drink, but... This coffee is so smooth. Like I don't put anything in it. I just drink it. And I mean, before I couldn't drink coffee because it would cause a stomach ache. Yeah. See, I, I stopped at a gas station yesterday. I needed another cup as I was driving down the road and I grabbed a, a cup of coffee at a gas station and bad. And it, it was bad. Yeah. I had an upset stomach, um, you know, not just through the day, but um, through the night. Yeah. Finally, this, Finally, this morning, I feel better. Well, to hop to something else, when I get an upset stomach anymore, I quickly mix up a glass of H2, drink it down, and it takes care of all that inflammation in the gut. Right away. Good. I'll have to remember that. Yeah. Yeah. So here, let me bring up a, um, a uh, photo of the sizzling. This is the sizzling brochure. Um, and here's the product website. Can you see that? Yeah, I can see it. Okay, I'm gonna move the I'm gonna move our photo over to the side over there. So um, 12 grams of protein. You know, some people tell me they say that's not enough protein. Depends on the kind of protein. Depends on the kind of protein. That's right. And and so what what do you know about this protein? I don't know a whole lot about it. We've covered this very little. And so I, don't, I just don't know a lot other than it's not a soy protein. Okay. Yeah, it's not soy based. And, and what's the reasoning for not using soy? Soy is one of the most toxic uh, substances out there because of all the insecticides and um, things they have to put on soy. Right. And, and, and properties that um well i i heard a story by tom that the israel army won't even let their their soldiers have soy because it feminizes them yeah so there's some like fake estrogen kind of thing in there right and it's it's you can't get soy that's not gmo right that's the other biggie yeah and and it it, it, it triggers cancer because like you said it's uh it's a uh, androgenic, which means it affects the hormones in your body. So, right. well, let me tell you a little bit about this protein, uh, Andrea. Um, do you know what, what denatured means? I mean, just break down the word. What, what do you think it means based on, on how, how it breaks down? 
Oh, I would say denatured means it was natural and you denatured it. Right. So you made it so it's not natural anymore. Right. right. That's the easiest way you can explain it. So when when you take and if you're making if you're making soup and you have a big bowl of a uh, big uh, kettle of soup and it's too it's too watered down, you want to thicken it up. You've got it on the stove. What do you do? You boil off some of the water, right? Right. Mm hmm. And so to boil it off, you gotta you gotta cook it at a high temperature. Right? Yep. So what they found is that when you when they're making when they're making protein, they, they get whey protein. Whey is the liquid portion left over from making cheese. Right. And to get the liquid out and leave just the protein, they do just like you would if you're making soup. Let's thicken it up a little bit. Let's get the water out. Let's dry it out. So they cook it at high temperatures. And we know what high temperatures do. It denatures the protein. Right. And so that's that's the quickest way to make whey protein for um, these protein shakes. That's what these companies do. And and so when they make denatured protein, what that what that denaturing does. It makes it so your body doesn't recognize it as protein. It doesn't know what to do with it. That's scary, right? Right? It doesn't know what to do with it. So you might have a protein shake that's got 30 grams of protein in it. But if it's denatured protein and your body doesn't know what to do with it, I mean, your body doesn't know what to do with it, then what good does it do you? Right? Yeah, I saw somebody promoting another company product and they're like um our protein is denatured and i'm like ah <laughs> <laughs> right and so so when you have 30 grams of denatured protein then um it's really it's really not going to do you that much good and so these these muscle muscle guys these bodybuilders they're looking for that high protein you know and and my kids they pointed it out to me one time they said oh dad there's not a protein in there and so I had to explain to them the difference between, you know, denatured protein and, and what we have is we have undenatured. Right. Undenatured means that it's, it hasn't been cooked at those high temperatures. We use a, what's, a, what's called a, a micellar process. Basically, we let, it, um, we let it air dry at low temperatures so that we don't denature the protein. We always do everything better. And then, and then we then we run it through a filtering system and basically we we isolate out the proteins that we want from the from the whey protein. And so 12 grams of of undenatured protein is more is more protein than 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 for your body to use than 30 grams of undenatured or I mean of denatured. Right. And uh and so that's important to know. Then uh, if you read the, the rest of the page there, six grams of fiber. Fiber is important. We've talked about that. Yeah. What does fiber do? Well, fiber helps cleanse out the intestine tract. And then also we discovered that um, the processing of fiber in the gut creates hydrogen. That's right. When your body, when the, when the healthy bacteria getting back to that conversation you and I have hit on so many times. I mean, we beat a dead horse on that one um, is that you got to have a, a healthy microbiome in your gut and, and it'll, it'll break down the, the um, fiber. Mm -hmm. And as it does that, like Andrea said, it produces hydrogen and hydrogen is, is the ultimate source of energy in your body. Yeah. You know, that's why, that's why our hydrogen sticks are, are so important. But so we put six grams of fiber in there. And, you know, that's not nearly enough. They've said that, that a man uh, needs, in today's world, we need over 30 grams of fiber. Yeah, I know. You're on a mission to get all the fiber you need every day. Females are supposed to get like 25 grams of fiber. <laughs> and they show that, they show that, studies show that, that um, the average uh, female is only getting about 12 grams. The average male is only getting about 13 grams of fiber per day. Mm -hmm. Right? So we're getting about half of the pro or the fiber that we need. And fiber, like you said, it makes hydrogen. The other thing, like you said, is it, 
It kind of scrubs the, the gut out. But the other thing that fiber does is it, it's kind of a bulking material as well. It fills you up. Uh-huh. It fills you up and it makes it so that you, that you feel more full. And so you're not always craving food. Your hunger, your, your hunger center isn't always turned on. That's good. You know, so fiber, fiber does a lot of things. And then we've added 50 trace minerals. Wow, again, that's amazing. Right? Yeah. Most vitamins don't have 50 trace minerals. And right. we've got it in our fiber shape, in our, in our protein shape. That's awesome. Right? And even with the great taste, it's, uh, it's sweetened with stevia which is a low calorie, um, artificial sweet, well, not artificial. It comes from plants, natural, yeah, natural. natural sweetener. Um, and, uh, and, and so when we take a look at it, you know, sizzling is a, is a great uh, thing to have when you're, when you're dieting It helps make it so that you have less hunger <clears throat> and, uh, you know, and, and it tastes good. Yeah. Look at that picture. That makes me want some real chocolate. Yeah. Real, real cacao, cacao. You like that word, cacao? I do. I love that word. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, so so all these things help out with with making it making it healthy and and making it so that your your body is is healthier. You know, and we're uh, so many of us are fighting the battle of the bulge all the time. You know. Oh yeah, most of America. It's uh we're, we're trying to, we're trying to, uh, um, you know, lose weight. And, uh, so here's the, I'm going to pull this so, up. Uh, our protein doesn't come from soy. Where does it come from? It comes from whey. From whey. Okay. Yeah. And which is by product which is, of milk, which um, is the liquid, the liquid portion when they make cheese. Okay. Right. So here's our supplemental fact sheet over on the side you can see that not only does it have the you know the fiber and and the and the um and the proteins right but it's also got vitamin a it's got vitamin d not very much but it's got some it's got vitamin e uh your b vitamins you know some of the niacin the vitamin b6 um it's got uh folate it's got vitamin b12 biotin uh, pantothenic acid um you know, and so it's a, it's a, it's a, I mean, it's a, it's a great product. So I watched a video by Tom about this product and ultimately cheese comes from milk. And he said that a lot of people say, well, you know, I can't take that because I can't do milk products, but he was explaining, well, what is it in milk that you can't do? That's what you have to figure out because there are hundreds of different things in milk. And he said, you know, it's like, is it the hormones? Is it the, um, the other things that come through in milk? Is it the fats? Because he said to make this product, they go in and they take out just specific types of parts of the milk and that he can cleanse it from all the other junk. And so that's what he does to make this product. That's right. So, even if you think you're lactose intolerant, you may be able to take this product. That's right. Well, and when you're talking about lactose and lactose intolerant, we have to remember that that lactose is a sugar. Right. That's part of it's, the milk. We're using milk protein. We're not using milk sugar. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so if you're lactose intolerant, you have nothing to worry about at all. And people say, oh, I'm allergic to milk. Well, mm -hmm. allergic to milk and lactose intolerant are two different things, uh -huh. right? I mean, you're aware of that. Well, it may be that you're not even allergic to milk, not, you know, it could be what's in milk. Right. But what I'm saying is, let's just say that they are allergic to milk. Um, it's not the, it's not the, the, um, um, it's not the lactose that they're allergic to. Right. Right. You develop allergies against, uh, against, uh, certain proteins and the protein that that you're allergic to is usually the casein okay usually the casein and uh, and so if somebody's allergic to casein again that's not the protein that we're using and uh and uh so um you know these are just different things that that i like to point out to people so so right. you know 
for those people that are lactose intolerant, they're allergic to milk, you, you really have nothing to worry about with it. That's good. Right? So it's in two flavors, right? Chocolate two flavors. Yeah. Let's, uh, let me, let me uh, pull up the other vanilla flavor um, here on my screen. And uh, so, so you can see that for, for those of you that want to see the vanilla product. And it's a it's a great vanilla taste. Have you tasted it? I haven't. No, nope, because I always buy the chocolate. Okay. Um, you know, I, I've tried the vanilla. I don't really, I mean, I'm not a vanilla fan. I guess I like vanilla ice cream, but that's, I don't know. Is that the same? Well, the thing with vanilla is you can put other things in it if you wanted to. You, you can put other things in it, yeah. 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 So it's the same thing. It's got the uh, micellar whey protein uh, concentrate. It's got the 50 trace minerals. It's got the, you know, it's got the fiber. So, you know, were you on the call that we did last uh, Friday on, um, on when to take your, when to take your, your vitamins? No, What's the I, missed best that one. I missed that one. You missed that one? Yep. What did you want to point out? Well, I just wanted to point out, um, when we were talking about fiber, mm -hmm. as I, as I did my research for that call, one of the things that I, that I found was that, um, was that, uh, um, fiber is a great thing to take at night. Really? Yeah. So, um, as I looked at that and I, and I looked at, at the ingredients that we find in, in sizzling, um, I realized that. Sizzling is a great nighttime product, like um, right before you go to bed. What was that about? Hmm? Why is it better at night or good well, at night? Well, um, number one, you know, a lot of times people kind of have like a, a little craving for something right before they go to bed. Yeah. So yeah. It, it's great for that because it satisfies that craving, kind of that sweet tooth. Because it really does have a, a chocolatey flavor. Right. And you can, you know, I wouldn't mix it with coffee at night because then you're getting the caffeine. But, um, you know, mix it with water or if you want, mix it with, with uh, milk, coconut milk, almond milk, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and, and drink it down at night. But the reason that they really said that, that it's great at night is because that's when a lot of these, these vitamins and minerals go to work. That's when your body uses them mm -hmm. to go through the repair process. But the right. other thing is, is that... Um, uh, fiber is more absorbed during the evening at night than, than during the daytime. Hmm. Well, those are good reasons. So you're going to wake up and you're not going to have cravings when you wake up in the morning. You're not going to be hungry when you get out of bed. And, uh, and so you're going to, you're going to tend to have, you're going to eat a healthier breakfast that way. Right. Or yeah, which is, which is good. Intermittent fast until one or two in the afternoon. Yep. And so it'll, it'll, it'll fill you up. It'll it make it so that in the morning you're, 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 um, you know, um, feeling better. The other thing is, is that they show that some of the, some the way, the way that the ingredients work, it actually kicks in a fat burning mechanism that works at night. Well, as Tom mentioned that on his video too. Yeah. He mentioned that, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it, 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 uh, it, it helps you feel fuller. So when you wake up in the morning, you're not, you're not, um, hungry. You're not that, you know, got that ravenous feeling when you get out of bed and then, um, and then it, it, it helps you burn fat while you sleep. That sounds like a good deal. Right. It does. Right. Yeah. So anyhow, that's, that's the sizzling. I wanted to cover that this morning. I think it's a great product. I think that, you know, we all should be, uh, should be consuming it once a day, you know, and, and if that means consuming it at night, great time to do it. Yes. So anything else you want to add? And we'll, we'll, uh, we'll just get done early today. No, you know, I'll go ahead and put the link for that YouTube video where Tom talks about this product down in the comments. So okay. They have that and they can save it somewhere for sharing with other people if they want to, or just go ahead and listen to it themselves. Cool. Yeah. If you, if you want to do that, post that on the Facebook page 
so that people can access that video and they can listen to Tom talk a little bit, you know, a little bit, probably more scientific than what we shared. Yeah, it was pretty interesting. There you go. All right. Well, I'll let you close off the call. Andrea, thanks for being here with us today. And everyone, thanks for uh, uh, paying attention and uh, pass it on and, and give us a comment. Let us know if there's anything you want to hear about on future calls. You know, that's what Andrea and I are trying to do is get the information to you. So back to you, Andrea. I'll let you close out the call. Thank you, Dr. Kurt Fisnick, for being here every Tuesday at noon Eastern time. And anyone watching this, you can tune in on um, Doctors Clinic, Dr. Biz with Friends page on Facebook every Tuesday at noon, or just go there and watch it after the fact because they're all, all our lives are stored there and you can go in and watch, scroll back and watch whatever you want to watch. So have a great day. Bye-bye.